Hello and welcome back to Academy Lanes, November 6th, Wednesday, day two of the ICC Worlds for 2024. I'm Bob Lee with a special guest, Stevie Reno, Stevie Reno Sr. Hi, Bob. And we've got a matchup to start things off. One of the one of the one of the greats of the week. And our first ball is coming up right here. Outlaw ride semifinalist in the 2022 Worlds. And on your right, you see Adam Allenson. And we got Corey, Cole Fry bowling for Fenway Academy. They were finalists last year. I'm going to work on the on the camera still. Why don't you take it away? That's correct. Cole Fry was kind of the second place last season. Good morning against the Outlaw Rise today. Both teams, after yesterday's uh, matches, finished the uh, day with 22 and 2 records. It's a textbook stop. Only the losers game. That was a 10 for Cole and a 9 for Adam to start things off. I don't want to go out of the Cole Fry earlier. Says he's been bowling ever since he could walk. He's holding a high alert. Yeah. Actually, there was a pair of tens there. You, you, keep me honest, Stevie. Adam, Adam also had a ten. Spare bit here. Same, same result, yeah. So Adam uh, Mount Mountain, uh, he is a 32-year-old uh, Moncton resident with an overall average of 121, career high season average of 128, and he takes 10 in the second, uh, 20 overall. Most bowlers are 20s. We'll give you more of that later. See, go. This format has been so important. Nine deep tens really add up. Uh, the scores have been on the low side. On this side, especially. Yeah. We've, yeah, we've we've seen you guys. You tough. guys are racking them up over there. You know, good teams. Hey. Both these teams, uh, they do have the outlaw rides. Had the high single yesterday for six this is the number two bowler, Ryan Shannon. Take an aim at hitting the first spare. He's got it. Way to get her down, big And how about Joe Smith? Matches. We are we are going blow for blow here. A couple jabs in the from the number one bowlers and. Uh, Roundhouses from Smith and Shannon. Let's see how the fills go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Shannon on screen. Joe Smith has a high single of 209. He's more than a few guys, but uh, it's still a very rare thing. You don't see it every day, even though as of late we have seen a bit of it. Some people are taking better care of their uh, lanes, I hear. I triple is a four pin by six. High five is six ninety five. I'm actually surprised he doesn't have a six ninety five. Pair of spares there. How about two spares each on that trip? Great job by the ball. So a two pin lead is all we got for uh, Ryan Shannon with, the, with that nine fill is the, is the difference right now. Good job, 81. You can see that on the, on the right. Outlaw Rides, both teams wore blue today, but Outlaw Rides is using the red because they, they use the red color. You can see the red Canadian flag. It is a Canada versus USA matchup, and our number three bowlers are next. We have Tim Jalbert. He's a member, again, member of the team. Are you supporting or are you live? No, we're live. Davy Summer. Davy is a six time champion. They can only see the other side. He's had quite the career for himself. 
we are also recording, but it, it, it's, it, it's sometimes down. He's got he's got a more a better signal, so you're probably seeing that first. One of them would be Tony LeBlanc with seven titles, and I believe Gary Baker Harrington has eight. What do we have there? Is that a, is that a spare from uh, Jalbert? It looks like it's a, it's a ten. It's ten. Okay, thank you. I was talking to Calvin Locke, the captain there. We are we should be live on on Channel uh, from Bowling Network, but uh, there have been some. So we'll take that spare off the board. That was a 10 for Calvin. Right, so for Tim. Oh. So the, Someone had started with a nine and here for the spare bid. A little okay, both number three bowlers are gonna and we are tied. Where are we going here? Where's, this is uh, string one of one of three. Steve, the format. Uh, they will match up with these four boys. Oh yeah, Brian Crowell and, uh, and Calvin Locke. You are our runner-up again for the second year in a row in the, uh, in the singles. To be able to get that one back to back here. Through what I would call the greatest 10 in, I've ever seen. That was quite the shot. That was an amazing shot with that pressure. With, yeah, it was, it was his final ball in the in the regular, you know, it's a one-string matchup in the semifinals. $450 on the line for that pitch, too, by the way. And he, he, he made it, he was, it was amazing. It was four pins in different directions, I'll tell you. I, I, haven't, I haven't gone back and, and memorized it. That's going to go. That was a spare for Brian. That's the king of the north. He is. Calvin has three titles in this event. And so he had many, many runners up finishes in the, the singles. He had, a, he had a high single 206 in last year's Worlds, too, right? He's got great numbers 1410, 775. Yeah. Oh, amazing scores. Brian Crowell now in the bonus. A little off on the, on the two pin. But it's going. He takes seven, seven out of it. Seven. That's a big seven. You see in the house. That's the seven, eight, and ten left with two pieces of wood. Brian Crowell has a high seven of 196. His three string total is 478. That, it's a spare. To the left side. What a great shot. Wow. Okay. Super shot. So Calvin Locke goes to 19 in the ball for two and 27 in the ball for Brian Crop. Anchor bowler Steve, tell us about tell us about uh, Andy Babineau here on, the, on Outlaw Rides on your right. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a high single of 196, high triple of 451. I've uh, been bowling for 35 years. He has a provincial title, multiple 560 team wins. His favorite hobby is puts down as uh, dope. Uh, 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 like almost cap. Like, almost like not cap, but enough ball shot out. 
Josh Mel looking to sweep the wood. Yes, got wow. low on it. Yeah, well, I said rip in. Twice? Twice? Yeah. Two in a row. There. For, uh... Oh! Babineau almost cut the ball on a, on a rebound off the left wall. But, uh... We've been alternating. Numbers two and two and four had all the marks. Babineau for ten here. Good nineteen. And Merrill is in the channel. He wipes that one off. That'll also be for nineteen. We're going to keep the scores on the right uh, and left. Outlaw Rides will stay on the right. Benway Academy will stay on the left. Benway will be in blue. Outlaw Rides from Canada, using the maple leaf color, you'll see it on the back of their jersey. They're, they are in red. And you're, they're, they're. After the first, it's Benway Academy leading by eight, 112 to 104, but uh, minus a ball. There are two spares in the rides. Whoa! That was it. Bombs away, baby. Three out of the left side. You want, you want to check out that speed gun? Yeah, check that out. All right, uh, sorry, what was that for uh, Adam? That was a nine for Adam. He's at 29. As we're streaming, I, it, it'll it'll be under something called. Uh, it'll have a, a, a. It might have a funny name. Okay. It might be a race. It, 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 it might say match match one for some reason. But um, let me see if I can if I can see the name. I was looking for it. I went on YouTube. Okay. Set. I'll 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 I I I can't. Yeah yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but how did how did that finish for, for Cole, the Canadians? Ryan Shin. Okay, Cole, Cole ended up uh,
just not start for the week. Uh, oh, great offer, Ryan. So he's at 51. at 51 through four. And Ryan at 59 That's a tough eight, through man. four. Strike on. He was open. Yeah. He, he'd been open. It, it was Cal, Calvin that was on the mark. So my apologies. So Cal, Calvin. Then, Calvin got six, six on that. On that field. Well, I, I believe I'm gonna have to look up there. Calvin, Calvin was on a square. So that was a three fill and a three fill and a seven then, huh? All right, my, my apologies to the losers. Must have been 22 plus seven. At, he's at 29 after three. Scores are on your are opposite the bowlers in this in this uh set. Yeah. Okay. So you play 
puts him at 42. That's spare for Come on, seven, seven bucks. Come back, box, buddy. Nine till seven bucks. Puts him at 49 through four. Brian Cooney, throw. The anchor men are back up. Sometimes you're the nitty gritties. At the end of the night, these are the guys that like to pressure the most. They like to be in that situation and try to win it for their team. He's the left side of the spread eagle, the left leg. Running free. It's all over. 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 My air on the scoring prowl is actually 59. Sorry. It's fair. It's fair for the scores are now confirmed. Nine box for eight. He's at 28 for three. I'm not finding it either. I was just looking for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset it in a second. I am recording though. All right. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to reset it in a second. Okay. Nice shot. So that was a, is that a ten for Chris and a, and a spare for Babino? Four marks man. hanging for Outlaw Rise. Scores 237 and 222 for Fenway Academy. With a 15 pin edge. Well, Adam, throw it over. What? That's a different Adam had eight in the fill at 47. He'll take a nine in the fifth. That's a 56 half for Adam. He also did 56. Maximum. That's the maximum weight. Oh, spread eagles. <laughs> Six pins standing with a third ball here for Oh dear. takes out the six pin for a five box. Finish with the nice. He takes a 65 to 61 edge in that pairing. Oh shit, man! And importantly, Fenway Academy leads by uh, 12 overall, but three marks coming for Outlaw Rides, so they have a virtual lead. There, there, there are five, four balls hanging between Summerton's strike blocks and Babineau's spares. Yeah. 
Set the live stream after one. All right, my, my colleagues around here cannot find it. That matches our score too, so we're we are confirmed. Three marks hanging though for the outlaw ride, Steve. So they're going to add up and add up. Was that it? I would rightly got it on the foul. Was there a pin that down on that yes. side? Yes. Okay. Lost it across the second round. Yeah. Bentley's off on that shot as well. He was left. I was going to say, Ryan Shannon is 38 years old. He'll take an eight there. Smith, nice out. Nice out. A little gainer there for Joe. He's at 70 through six. Lead is now 15, minus the four balls coming. Maybe Summerton on the right, Galvin on the left. Summerton on a strike. Uh-oh, 189, bud. 189. That's a strike ball that goes awry. What, what happens on the 189? Yeah, heavy. Yeah. Pay the price. Ooh, okay. Nine, nine on the fill for Summerton, yeah. Oh, good, good object there. At the half. Jobber. Pin, pins to a 47. He was open. He, he was so I was going to say Shannon has a high single 184, high triple 455, and high five 640. He bowls out of Windsor Lane. Summerton 66. Okay, there's your lemon drop. That one out of the way early. Hey, Timmy, you'll have a good look as the pin sweeps yeah, to the okay. channel. He's looking for his first mark, and I think he's. I, I wouldn't bet against him. Albert, um, it's still early, it's still so early, it's early morning. Are you still waking up? Is that our lunch for us? Throws, a, throws an interesting reverse ball. He throws right to left, but then he spins. Throws a left, left to right spin. And he releases it. That was a 41 mile an hour pitch on that last one. Really, really interesting. Really interesting movement on that. Fell too on it. So, so big, big gain there. Fifty-five. 
change now. There's now a 15-pin 15, 15 lead has swapped places. Fenway Academy led by 15 a short while ago. Now it's Outlaw Rides by 15. Team from Canada in red. Bowling on your right. Their scores are on your right on your scoreboard. So 78 in the ball, through six. He is also at 78. All right, that makes, that makes the lead 14, both sides with a hit. Our stream has been interrupted. I'm going to... We're having technical interruptions here, Steve. All day yesterday, I ran up the line. So I'm All about a breath now. Trying to walk. <laughs> so then, still trying to get the same thing. You know what I mean. We got it. We got it. We got it. Is it 52 in there? After the six fill. He's up. Both bowlers at 62, but Babineau with the spare. And we're going to switch that. Steve, we're, we, have, we have rejoined a live stream, and uh, we're going we're gonna to give an update of the match so far. We, we've gone around three times through, through six boxes. This is, uh, this is Fenway Academy versus Outlaw Rise. Both teams 22 and 2. This is match four of the 2024 ICC World. This is USA versus Canada. 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 <laughs> Canada. The Canadians. That was an eight drop for Fry on his first ball. So we are. USA versus this, 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 is this is USA versus. Match, this is right? the best. Yeah. This is the best. This is the best of the best. And we have Stevie Reno Sr. guest guest commentating. I'm Bob Lee. Executive producer of the Canada Bowling Network. And look at that. Fry dips down. He, Drops that shoulder and then keeps it straight. He really digs on those. I, I, I like his. I like the speed of his ball for sure. And uh, that he seems to be one of the greats. Now. Yeah. 
42 miles an hour, but it was 42 pins. Yeah, <laughs> you get bonus points for the speed. 77 through 7. Big ball, big nine drop. Adam. Adam, I'm sorry, Andy was the anchor bowler. Adam, 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 He's at 81. I hide him for him. I just gonna ask to bring him. They're pretty good there. Yes. What a shame. <laughs> he did. Uh, the lead was 20, and now it's 20. To your point. Didn't I know? And uh, the, the, the uh, mark advantage now switches over. Outlaw rides two to one. How about that ball? Shaking for a strike. That was, that's Ryan Shannon on your left. Handed a flag on the back of his jersey. Both teams wearing blue. Ryan takes 10, he's at 85. Lead is still 20 for Outlaw Rides. Remember the format, Steve. Um, they may have missed our earlier uh, or just joined us. Bowling for eight points. Each string is worth two. The total pins are worth two. These two teams, after three, are both 22 and two. These are dominant squads. Yes, they are. Oh, speaking of dominance, that ball from Ryan Shannon dropped nine down to the seven pin. You see it on the far left on the pin cam up top. As I said before, the guys so Joe Smith just had two on the fill, so that's a couple of missed opportunities there on, on spares in the seven. Fills of two and two for uh, the top two academy board as well. Trying to make a decision on what are you going to do? Play the wood, try to go by him. I think, I think, I think he's going to hit the, the wood on the left on the, on the high right side of his hand. You're what? Maybe the right foot on the left side of You got it. That was a good shot. Oh, boy. That's a good shot. Throw it right in the edge. That was not a little table like that. 95 through 8. And Joe Smith put it up. He's at 90. Yeah, he had a 10. Another 10 for Joe. He's at 92. He, he, if you don't, you don't see what he's doing, just put 10 down automatically. Maybe Summerton set, has a setback. Sweet. Spares in the seventh from Spares in the seventh from Fry Smith and Jalbert. Jalbert would love to get more than two in his fill. If, so we dig into this 20 pin lead, this stubborn 22 pin lead from uh, Outlaw Rush. Then Jalbert has two pro series event uh, championship. <laughs> That's a tough five fill. That was a pretty nice ball for five. <laughs> 69. We have a score correction somehow. The 
you're saying that uh, he's at uh, 71. So, Jalbert, I'm going to make an adjustment on Jalbert's score. Is that an eight? That's an eight. Good day. Ninety-three through eight. Down to the last fourteen boxes here in string one. Calvin at 88. And nine for so it puts him at 92, I think. I, I had him in the wrong place there. So it's a six on the strike puts him at 85. I, I, there's been a score correction. He's now at 85 through seven complete. Is that correct? You, you can see it up there. So now he'll be through eight. He'll, he'll be at 94. Okay. I, I, sorry, I got binoculars. That's why I brought him. <laughs> Brian Krell's at 102. And 94. Those, those scores are confirmed. 62 of these for Merrill. And yep, so I, our scores are now confirmed. A 14 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. But the marks are all on their on their side. Alright, so things are, things are looking good. Meryl. Nice shot. Oh, oh, Angie Fabino with a brilliant. What was that? That was the six, ten, and seven, right? Um, what? I think that was the, the three, the three six. Oh, the three six. Even harder. Even harder. My goodness. Wow. Set up for you. Okay, the lead is growing. Left wing of his Had a tough ball. He's another spin. Wow. He's racking him up. Oh, great ten! All right, that that, can, that keeps them in the in the hunt. But we got we got ten to play here in string one. The, the score is four forty nine to four thirty one. Not too bad. Only an eighteen pin lead. But look at the marks, Steve. Spares for Mel Melanson, Shannon, lock on a strike at Babino, all for the Canadian Outlaw Rides team. They are in red on your scoreboard. They are from Canada. They are on the right. 
Down to the wire here, two ICC points are on the line. Oh, did it, that, that, I don't see that. Is that right? Oh, Kelvin was on a strike. I, I, I didn't that might explain. It. <laughs> so let's take. Two spins Okay. Three spins Well, that that helps. That that helps. It's only 18 18 plus a ball. <laughs> Boy, get over the corner. That's the only time the four horse can go. Let's try it. Thank you, Steve. That, 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 that does yeah, tighten yeah. things up <laughs> due to the scoring error. <laughs> Try has Cleary with wood to help. Oh, boy. It was. Hit the spot. He really threw a great ball. Yeah. Just in the yeah. That is a tag. So right now, up to date. Oh, I guess the same. Still a big knife fill on that strike. It's still good with his ball though. Still a little heavy on his object. Shannon at 124 through 9 is a finishes with a 133. He ends with a 112. I have it 512. Really nice. 
Okay, there's a score correction. Andy Babino is at 96. That now our scores have been confirmed, and it is a 42 pin lead as we saw from all the marks gaining. Um, that was right. Albert and Summer, Summerton, no mark in the night. Respectively. The score is 528 to 488 with uh, five, five, half a string basically. Sick, that, that, that's a tough lead. Yeah, it's yeah. not an easy shot. You gotta make the, you gotta make that rail, but then you gotta drive, also drive the ball back. Hit the, hit the uh, five eight nine. Yeah. There it is. Good shot. Dave's going to see an 11th rack. Does that, that ends up being a 98? Or did I miss something? Good job. Yeah, 98 is the official score. Not with the uh, anchor for Academy 2. Okay. All right. So that'll be a 112. He'll match uh, Crawl. That 133 is the difference. Ryan Shannon is uh, big gainers. Down to the last four boxes. Crawl here is this is critical. He's, he is on a strike. And. Uh, Calvin Lott sits at 94. This is all updated. I just did it. Wow. Kingpin stands. Roll the for a double. Okay. That'd be an eight bill, he's at one ten through eight late. in the night. the official score upstairs. Cole Fry's score has been adjusted to 103. That's the diff difference between our score and the official score, Steve. But now we have been Calvin, Cal uh, that was a two fill, was it not? Yeah. 
Spins out, but stays there. A little bit more left. A little bit more left. Lock ends up with a 116. String one. Yeah. And a 129. 39 pin lead, all but insurmountable. With with Babino in a mark. Ryan's family used to be the old man in the Pro Bowl and Stone. Yeah, Stone, Massachusetts. That's where the kids Pro stayed. Pro Bowl and Stone. <laughs> it's, it's, cool. cool. it's, cool, it's cool to Stone. say. <laughs> yeah, that's where the kids stayed championship. Where that's oh, why I met Ryan. Right now, right now. He said he was about 40. And he became fast like Brown Stone. Brown Stone. Babino opening the ninth. There's no mark. Yeah, he has seven fill. And that's a 10, so he'll get 114 in the ninth. Nine, nine for a hundred. That you want more than that? Yep, five five eighty, not eighty one. He, his score was adjusted to a nine in the ninth, um, but so now he's at one. Yeah. Barrel ended up with a 101. And that's a 132, correct? Is that the official score? So our official score, that was a 599. By my count, 599 that match, 599 to 543. Yeah. <laughs> Giving those two fills from Calvin, especially, right? All right. We're going to move those scores down. I heard Robbie's name mentioned. Robbie, huh? I don't know if he's going to go. I'm going to go to the pressure here to fly on that. That's what I was doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
We call him the gigolo because he's so handsome. You don't want to pay shot of him for the pin cam? <laughs> it was a pretty head, but we uh, asked him to Cooper. Oh. All right, six fill there. He's a 24 on his first trip. Got a lot of rides. Taking care of yeah, real, real nice performance there. Five ninety nine. Excellent performance. All right, so we did switch the lineups around. Okay, what we got here? Tim Jalbert's going second down. Okay. He pulled third down in the first one. Now he's going second. That's his first stop. Looks like Joe Smith is going to move into the third slot. Six to two mark on the right side. Chris and Chris Merrill and Brian Brian Crow, uh, Crow will be also spot. Brian to move to the anchor spot. Chris Merrill. It's not, I, I, I'm recording it, and okay. so I will be putting it up as soon as I can. It may be tonight. I, I don't know why it's not going. Yes, yeah, so see, our, 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 our stream is not live, but we are recording it uh, in high, high, high definition. It'll be up a little later today. Tough ball by some of them. Nice 10 for Joe Smith to stop the second game. Okay, so that's a 10, right? 10 for Smith and a 9 for Davey. We have it as an 8 up there for Davey for some reason on the official scoreboard, but I thought, I thought it was a 9 too. Okay, I'm going to put it to 8 and ask the captain. Calvin. I thought Davey. 
TV out of nine blocks. It shows eight. Yeah, ask, ask him so you don't lose a pin. Ask him that one. Make sure his teammate doesn't uh, lose a pin. It came an eight block. I'm pretty sure it was a nine. Do it! Do it! Kind of a crazy ten. Nope. Take a nine. It was an eight. It was an eight. Okay. Um, so Smith took a. You say Smith just took a nine in the second. Great. He's a nineteen. Summerton him for his part. He is at seventeen. Drop for Calvin on the on the spare. Two in a row, Calvin. He's at twenty-four. So Fenway Academy came out strong with the spares from the first two bowlers in the first. They lead by nine, but uh, Outlaw Rides is making their way back. They've got they've got two hanging, two marks hanging. Melanson's strike and Calvin's spare chasing nine. Brian Cole after that nice opening first game finds himself in the Yanka spot. Only he gets Andy Babin on. Crosses over onto the one-two pocket. Leaves that funny, that funny uh, half Worcester plus seven ten. Total from the first strings is 599 to 543. Our, our total total is uh, up there, 701.56. Half Worcester, and a spread eagle with a eagle. He's hanging around where the five pin is. That, does that make it any easier? I think so. I, it definitely helps. It definitely helps. Oh, in the hole. In the hole. 
Hey, there it is. There it is. He made the spread eagle, and I, it did come into play. That went play. Yep. So Adam Adam with the two fill in the eight box basically threw up with one of those tens, right? Oh, tens, yeah. yeah. Fry picks up six. Uh, he's at forty through three. Seven through four, forty-eight. Well, the ball is uh, going steady. Did not like anything up right now, but that can change. Fenway Academy with a fifteen-pin lead, minus a hit. It would be bonus ball, spare for spare fill. Ryan Shannon up for the Canadians. Ryan had a one thirty-three that first game, so he was really bowling well. Let's see if he can stay hot. A great stop and a nine drop. Tim Galvin had a ninety-eight in the opening game. So he's definitely looking to get on his uh, score. Nice single pin. Ryan, you see that? This is down for the right. Now, but off, also off to the right. We were just a hit. It's the 10 for Ryan. And a 10 for Ryan. 36 to 29 lead. Galbert in the pair. Galbert's on the plus side. Yeah, that opening stand is pretty well. Ryan is still looking for a mark in this second game. Back in the pocket again. And it's not a That's a good way to start. That's in the in the gutter. That's considered deadly because it's not going to play in the So there's a difference between the wood versus both with the dead wood in the gutter. Both gentlemen can connect on their spares in the fourth. Oh, nice shot. I just shot with his second spear in the fourth. I clocked really? Shannon at 42 miles an hour on that really? last pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I was like, I got against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this one. Yeah. 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 Fenway holding on to a 15 pin lead. Summerton on the quarter pin, left side. Let me call it. Good old boss, Claire. Nice so 41 miles an hour, 
Summer, I'm going to clock Smith. What do you think is going to be? I think Joe's throwing it about 30. I would say 30, 31, 32. There you go, 31. Smith picks up six on the fill. 35. He does. He's right in there. The, the slower ball doesn't pick up the extra action off the wall, but it, it can certainly be accurate. Who, who are the best slow ball bowlers? I'd put Joe Joe Smith up there as one of them. For a 30 mile hour pitch, I think. I'm going to say the greatest slow ball throw ever was Stacy Turner. Oh, there you go. I watched videos of Stacy. She didn't throw a power ball. Calvin Block, by the way, just picked up two on a play. Say, like a, a, a bowler like Mary Lagenza, who used to fire. Uh, Stacia threw the ball as a delivery ball, and she was so accurate. Her scores proved it. I saw, I saw a couple of her broadcasts from the I never saw her in person. Uh, I had the pleasure of knowing the family and uh, John Tony Pierce, who was a good friend of mine. Uh, yeah, you were right. Yeah, a lot of good memories with her. So Calvin had a two fill, and uh, on a half Worcester, finishes with a 10. Carroll was another square. Yep. He's at 34, and a ball in the third. Lead is growing, 18 for Fenway. Hits are now even, three apiece. Six fill for Merrill. Merrill going to go way left on this wood. He's waiting for one of the stars from the adjacent lane uh, to clear out the dead wood. No blood in that exchange. 49-48. Block with the lead. Nine? Okay. We gotta make an official score. Check. Ryan Shannon has got a score correction of 38. Five on the field, 23 through two, and a 10 for 33. Our, score, our scores are now confirmed, Steve. It is uh, one is 218 to 194 Fenway Academy with a 24 pin lead in the string. Outlaw rides with a 32 pin lead overall in the total. That's a spare fill. Uh, okay, so 
48-42, Babino with the lead in that pair after four. Overall, Fenway Academy leads 227-248. And it's a uh, minus a ball because there are two hits for Outlaw Rock for Canada, one for Tim Jalbert and Fenway Academy. This is a matchup for the ages. As we said earlier, the Outlaw Rides won the first game, 599 to 543. That's a 10. Adam punching young. Last 10, Adam! Nice touch. Nice 10. That turn is one right there. Full fried 58 at the half. Melanson at 47. Fenway Academy, bowling on your right, there's scores on your left, on your screen. Head pin, beautiful shot, what up? Leaves the, leaves the three pin and then the triangle in the back. Where oh, 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 with one and two on the right. Four in a row. Steve, we've, we've only seen one game in the 140s here, all, all yesterday. But it's, it's been kind of stingy lanes. They have been. There's all of it. 68 through 6. Both these teams the second place. Yeah, the lead of are uh, undefeated. If they've, if they've held on. That's a 10. 57. Um, Six and one for Shannon as well. Emmy, want me to take it out of the way? 19 pin lead for Fenway Academy for the USA in blue on your scoreboard, bowling on your right. They switch sides every two boxes. See the see the jersey, Fenway Academy. This is Tim Job. That's a four. Okay, a couple light fills there. Sixty at the half. He 
he's at 52. Low, low scoring, second string so far. Sure. Oh, yeah. I need to switch things up a little bit. Yep. Ryan Schmidt, who had that excellent first string of 133, is a high single of 184. Best of this one is by and high five and six quality. Oh, for a guy to throw such a nice ball. I, I would assume that's going to change. Calvert misses on the spare bit. Ryan says he's been bowling for a Makes that spare. Jobber is leading 69 to 62, but uh, Shannon with a spare. Here in the second. Lead it down to, nine, down to 18, minus two fills. So we're looking, we're looking single digits here, like, like a three or four feet difference after those fills come. Good, good matchup. One of them is going to be more split on that head pen. One of them is going to be right here, Davy Summerton. Yeah. Spare in the fourth. I hope he doesn't leave another three and one. <laughs> Ouch. Three and two. How about that? You <laughs> there it is. That left wing is still Hardly left. better. <laughs> Much better. Actually. Yikes. That's crazy. Yikes. Yikes. Got a little help. He's going to try to run the three on the left. Pins went left and right of that ten, ten pin, but they didn't touch it. When I look at David Shepherdson's uh, stat sheet, very, very impressive. for outlaw rides. None on the board for Academy. Great nine drop, but oh, well, a little a, a roadblock out in front of the five if it stays there. Pieces of 
And now it's, it's a little guide now. It's not, not bad. There it is. Nice clear all over. Alvin is one of those guys who has a nice single at 206. I think he did that last year. Yeah, that was last year. Well. Uh, championship. His, his previous high single was 204. He's got a couple of 206. Oh. He also has a high triple of 514. A high five of wow. 770. And his high triple is 414. Merrill takes six in the field, and Cal Calvin looked like he was going to avoid the three and one, but no, <laughs> the, the, the head pin falls late, and he gets a three and one over there on the left again. How about that? He's amazed. I'm amazed. Merrill makes good on his spare, though. He's at 74 through 6. 76 for Merrill, but he had to need the spare. So the lead is now 14 for Fenway Academy. Steve Reno and Bob Leaf, Camden Bowling Network. We are recording this. I'm going to be posting it this afternoon. Um, that's okay. Wi-Fi on this end of the building is minimal. I, I put your stuff from match one up last night, all in high def. It looks really nice. It looks great. All right, Ryan Roll. Take the man. Family Academy. Nice nine drop. Andy Babin. Take the man. All right. Fenway looking to even things up. They got a little lead here now. 14 pins. Let us a ball. Probably looking to make it even, even up the marks. You knew where to miss. Great ball. Great ball. Ten. Andy Babino has a high single of 196. There's a lot of big scores in this battle. High triple of four. Yes, Andy got a 10. High five of six. One of, the things, one of the things that happens, they don't bowl out of five scores. Just, the big strike. Yeah. It's a 20 box. And a spare for Babino. He's at 68. And a ball. And just like that, as we switch sides again. I have my, my score, you want to check this, Steve? 346 for Fenway Academy, 322 for Yeah, that will help now. Good boy, Adam! Boom! Let's go, four big boxes left, let's go! It's like yesterday, baby! Let's go, Mr. Hyatt! One score correction on the board as I check things out. That's an extra pin for Tim Jalbert. Our scores are now confirmed. A 25 pin lead for Fenway Academy. Three hits for Academy, four marks for Outlaw Rats. Both teams with one strike for the rest of the spares. And he was a world singles finalist. Doesn't happen here though, but 
We're on lanes five and six. We had a reset there. Now, Ellison on the strike, going for two. Takes six out, leaves a check mark. He's at 85 through seven complete. Okay, hey, that's a 10, uh, another 20 box for Mel Ellison. Change in direction there on the score. Beats down to 20, but the marks are, four, are now four to two for Outlaw Rides. Hey, boy! Six on that, Phil. Both bowlers leave splits, three and one for Shannon, two and one for Jalbert. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? That'll be an eight for Shannon and seventy six. He's at seventy nine, both through seven. I'm missing something. I'm missing eleven. Let's see. I'm missing eleven. It's okay. We're still pretty small. Jeff Jalbert at eight. So I have Shannon then at eighty. Okay. And an 88 for uh, Jalbert. There have been some score corrections up there. Uh, the captains keep entering different scores. So we're trying to keep up with them down here. Um, right now we should match at 390 for Fenway, 370 for Outlaw Okay, then. There's a spin. That's, those ones go 45% of the time for pro bowlers. Just trying to Both bowlers at 71. Smith, though, on a spin. Fenway Academy now at 400 for the string. Smith on a, on the bonus. Steps up on your left. Oh. Lead is 21 though for Fenway Academy. Those are 15 inch pins that are set 12 inches apart, right Steve? 
Hey, look at it. It's good. Oh, I thought they would. That was like crazy. crazy. setting yourself up for the final two. In a, okay. in a close match, you want to have that spear working in the air. I see. It really is one of the most important, if not the most important frame in these matches. Uh, you know what I mean? Besides the nine and tenth, of course. But setting yourself up for the finish, having that mark working, whether it's a strike or spear, is so important. So the eighth box. And the eighth box is the money, money, money box. It really is. Boy, Whoa, nine drop to the five. Merrill leaves it right. He's got those one, two, seven, eight, ten. He's going to want to put that ball in the open clock. Hopefully the head to the bone, take the ten. Spare. Spare. He made his money. Merrill makes it. Nice oh, shot. Oh, wow. Both of them did. That, that's a one on He's the first man to 100. One on one in the eighth. Merrill. Out of these squads, you might expect a couple a couple of these guys to be at 100 after eight. And, and uh, Merrill's the first one there. I, I think we'll see Carl, Carl join him if he. That's reasonable fill or in another mark. Hey, you're down on a boy. There it is. Okay, okay. That's a 20 box. He's now at 92, and that, that will put him over. over on this. Almost a double. Got it. For a 20 box, that's another 20 box. So, he's at 92. Yeah, you see, him, is, is my score correct? He's at 92. Okay, good. Back to, the, back to the three and one. All those double pinochles, what, what's the old term for? Yeah, I think so. All right, that's, that's an eight on the strike fill for Babino. Puts him at 96. That was Brian going down to the seventh pitch on the left side. Brian pitched out with a slow punch. With, by the way, with a six fill, he, he's at 98. So Steve, when you talk about the money box, what is the foundation? Is that the ninth foundation? Is that the ten pin two? Maybe it might be a ten pin more. I've heard it. I, I don't know what it is, so it could be. Yeah. 
All right. That's a pair of nines in the money money box. <laughs> so that Babineau at 105, Paul uh, at uh, 107. Right, we're gonna, that means somebody got an adjustment. I see an adjustment up there. 93, 88, 82. Yeah, Joe, Joe Smith had an adjustment. He's at 82. That's the difference there. Scores are now confirmed. Lance on a fill here. He just is a, he's going he's to wait for the starting strike. He's a dead gutter. He's a player on the side. He's a goal. Oh my goodness. And, oh, oh, oh my. Wow. Oh, oh did what I was hoping. It's the headman. These go at a lower rate than the other. They, they would have 59% rate. Pro ball. Just caught it. Just caught it. Maybe with the help of the <laughs> Yeah, well, I think so. I think he would have missed it. Everyone was laughing to my right. That was, a, that was a 10 for Coles. He's at 103. Melanson, 106 and a ball through nine. And that's going to. It's going to take a little bite out of that lead. The lead is 15 for Fenway Academy, but there are two marks, and with big ones, we could be tied here. Phil coming from Melanson. Okay. All right, another, another great fill off a of miss for uh, Melanson. He, he picked up nine and seven off of uh, corner pins. Right, another tough ball. A little off right now. He's been so good. That's that's where I wanted it though. I thought he wanted. I, I thought light might connect. Oh well. There's a seven box ball. I'm surprised he didn't get Try to get a Oh, A 122 for Bat for uh, Melanson and a 110 for Cole Fry. That coming off a 103 first game. Yeah. Melanson, for his part, is at uh, 228. Pretty ball setback. Okay, okay, I see it, I see it. On the left side. It wasn't on a fill, but it's still dreadful. Good shot, it just was a little deep. It's a three for an 83. Oh, that's like a little mark for a 10 box. It's like a little mark. Okay. The lead is back to 13 now after the seven filled and, and right it down all the way to eight. And up, the three pin fell on lane six again. That, it's been about, about 25 nines to count against the lane. We're often on the last group going since that <laughs> Doesn't doesn't repeat too often, but it, it just happens two or three times a string, you know? Nine. Uh maybe nine, yes. 
say he almost wanted it to stay up, but they were all set up. It still looks good. Oh boy. Seven. Nope. Oh, eight. Was the seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's the now he's got a makeable eight well, nine well. unless that keeps I don't like it rolling forward like yeah. that. That, that that's the way the pins roll here in the, on the left side. Looking to even things up. All swung over right in front of the nine pin. Now, that that ball's there. You're not supposed to throw at it for a pro. I, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's out of play. He hits it. It's going to be a ball anyway. 92. Go, Davey. Pick him up, bud. Go, Davey, boy. Big ball for John. Seven of better here. 92 is confirmed. That was Shannon. Five. Okay. And that, that'll be a 113 for Jalbert. Still there. Still there. Now remember, he, he was in the three slot in game one. He threw a 98 for four, so he's at uh, 211. But more importantly, Fenway Academy takes a 19 pin lead in string two. They're looking to even it up. The first two ICC points went to Outlaw Rides. And they are at. Fair bit. Was it? Is it nine? Is it nine? Okay, so that, that'll be that'll put both bowlers at ninety-one by my board. Is, it, is that what their official board says up there, Steve? Yes. Yeah. Okay, but uh, Summerton on the on the fill and an eighteen-pin lead for Fenway Academy. Great way to come back. Oh no, another two. Swings it over from the right side, and he tipped it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he hit the cap with the tip of the ball. Ooh, some tip of the big pass. How big is this 10 to spin right now? That's too bad. He had two spear leads. Should have converted this one of them. You don't see Joe miss one. Okay, he took a nine there, too. Okay. Summerton in the corner. It's a, he gets a five. That's a 100 for Smith. Smith picks up four pins in the last ball. And a five? So that, that ends up being a 98. These are. Uh, I'll finish. I'll finish this I think there's something has to do with the morning, something has to do with the ladies. And uh, maybe just a little off bowling. These are low scores uh, here in the second stream anyway. Oh, is Merrill on us? Merrill's working on his spare as well. Calvin Locke's working on his spare as well. Yeah, I know. You're right, I had missed the, the fact that Merrill was on his spare. I had, had not indicated that. So it, he puts him at 121 then in the ninth. A little work to do. Uh, six on the fill, right? He's at 100 even. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's going to be at 99. Through eight complete and a 109 in the ninth. 25 pin lead. That that make that really makes it uh, put your win probability up there around 90 percent plus. Wow! Big nine to go. All right, so I'm at 130. Sears threw a one ball and spared the tenth and one by three. 
one touch shot for a 10 spot. So 140 was the 10 for Merrill. It's only the second 140 we've seen on these lanes in the last two days. That'd be a, a six for a 115 Calvin Locke. That puts the lead up into almost insurmountable. 38 pins with two play here. I think, unless that's a straight, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the points now. Both teams will move to 24 and 4. That's 10 for Crawl, moving into the anchor spot. That was a good move. Chris Merrill in the anchor spot could uh, throw 101 and move it to 4. It throws a 140. Yeah. Bullock, 117. Okay, last pass, last watch to the second strike. That front, that front piece is, is deep enough, it'll connect in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the ball. Ball took it. That, that, that's pretty sweet. That other cap. So the, so the string, the string is over, but but uh, these are big pins for the uh, total. Nine for Kroll, lives him with a 126. To go with his 129 in the first. He's going to the four slot. So uh, that's a nine. Big 10 on as he finished. 10 on? Oh boy. That's a 133 for Babineau. Go with his 132 for the first thing. Man, like Way to go. Right, get down. Move, we'll be moving to the third. That that leaves Outlaw Rides with that great finish. Keeps them ahead in the total by 27 pins. We are tied two points apiece in ICC points, though. Each team winning a string. Move to the third. See if we got any more lineup changes. Sneak your eyes open. We're in the final game. Maybe some of it is coming. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, Brandon Romar. Tell us about Brandon. We have Adam Melanson and Cry leading us off in our third game. A spare, spare for Adam. Oh, just missing that single pin. That was for ten. Four point four ICC points on the line here. 
String three, we're tied one string apiece. Outlaw rides carrying a 27 pin lead by virtue of a 599 to 543 win in the first. Fenway Academy one string two, 589 to 560. Maybe on the left side, just a little bit. And I think it'll jump to the right to take the ten off. Just missed it. It came, just wow, that piece forward. came way forward. The ball gets his pin. Right. That's the way to come back. Bob Lee coming for the Kelvin Bowling Network. Number two bowlers. Is it, I think it's Ryan. Is Ryan staying in? No. It's Robbie. So it's that's Robbie um, Hopper. Robbie Hopper. Right there. Robbie Hopper coming in on the third game. The two hole. Brian Shannon had a 92 in the second day, giving him some relief. He threw a 133 in the first. Nothing, no, no shame on that. Outlaw Rides, they were the uh, semifinalists in Academy. The team only formed for that Academy, that 2022 season. That's when the Outlaw Rides were took over the team and you said they were coming from a couple different places, a couple different um, Fenway Academy, I know they, they were they were runners up last year. Uh, they, they have a great history. I think they've been runners up a couple times. Yes, they have been runners up with different uh characters uh through the years. So, by the way, uh, Tim Jalbert had a 10 in the first. I didn't. I didn't. Come on, Peter Cross! Rusty Ball, TP! He did 19 for 2. That would be a 9, 19. For both bowlers, but uh, Hopper with the spare in the second. Marks are even. Outlaw Rides with an early eight pin lead here in String Street. Oh, I was an enemy yesterday. I wasn't allowed a mirror. Smith had scores of 112, 100, strings one and two. That's a setback. I love it. High triple in 454. It's harder to get than a lot harder to get than that. Right. Right. Yeah. Hey, all right. Um, on the fill though, six. six. Oh my god. This is a shot made for Joe because the ball breaks that way. Oh, the good ball by Brandon. Brandon, he ran the pocket down and left that bench up. Nope, right of the target. Joe missed his option. 
Three different places. No wood. No, no, no eight pin set that time for Crowl. Uh, so. You guys want me to sub in? You guys want me to sub in, take over? Match two. Yeah, match two. Yeah, I'll sit out. No, it's not great. It's not great. I think I've got 12 marks for 231 for after two. That's yeah, pretty marks. good. <laughs> a couple twos. In yeah, there. seven twos on my marks. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, I'm grateful for you, Steve. I, I, I don't know if I could pull this up. I really don't think I would have done it right. Happy to be here. Seven for Babino. Third ball here. Oh, he's a, that's a good pickup. He's going to get a 10. Wow. That's becoming my least favorite leave and my favorite spare to pick up. And, you know, I do it way too often. Well. You miss, miss on the right side of the screen or the left side of the screen. You get the good thing. Lost it. Yeah. Well, Andy Batman are looking for his first mark in the third game or maybe the second block. But he did have a 132 and a 133 in his first two games, so he's bowling very well. Hey Steve, you know what we what we call that one? The the one two leave? That's called the Millis Eight. Millis Eight, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he makes the millis eight for the spare. It's a four horseman where you just got a, got a good clean, you know, a good rip and went across and took out the four seven. Then, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it means you're throwing a, a good ball or you have, and you also have clean lanes. That's what tells us. He's a 20 in that trip. 
19 pin lead for LL Red. Let's, let's do a score check. I have a 117 to a 98. All right, and the marks are three for LL Red, two for Fenway Academy, all of them are spare. Surprise, try for the Americans. Yeah, right here. In six, Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Okay. You missed, you missed the object, but got one of those good, healthy fills. Eight. It's a nice, nice, uh, it's a nice eight. Oh, yeah. Hey, there it is. It's dead. Oh, yeah. It was on it. It swept. Nice shot. Nice spin. Okay, played that. You had to play that one in there. Adam, yeah, nice job, Adam. He's at 38. So, for those of you who don't know, Steve Rito Sr. is a uh, chief mechanic of the model watch. Uh, my family music's in Millis. The man responsible for bringing that to be the premier store in Alabama. A really nice place to ball. Good pit ball, good action. Great group of people. Not a one night to die. That was my home house for four years. I missed it dearly. I had to move out to out west to Canal. And got, a, got a big, beautiful house. Canal is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, that's uh, those are both fill balls, though. So. Cole, Cole, we missed it. What's that one? And just a four fill out of the pocket there. Babino, having a little tough luck there. Hit the head pin. Hit, hit the hit the one two pocket. And, 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 and that's a seven. So a nine. A nine for Fry puts him at fifty four. And the seven leaves Melanson at forty nine. Right. About Jenny, she, she's that. She's not. A, she didn't break 400. Right? No, no. She's uh, only been bowling for a year. Oh no! <laughs> My goodness. Uh, just got a natural throw. And I don't think she was realizing what exactly what she was doing up there when she did it. It was probably helping. It was an amazing accomplishment to see. And it's going to be a fun night in honoring her for that. Yeah. 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 Hopper ended up with a, with a 9 out of that, not a 10, so he did 36. They did award him. Eight on the bill. Five dollars. Robbie Hopper with a 46-38 lead through four, both despair. So Steve just said. That matches our, our score on the screen. 14 pin lead. There are three marks for the Canadians and two for USA. Get that, 
Yeah, really? Shot. Wait, no. No, that's a, Is that the... No, that was that was the two pin, right? Okay. He does it. He does it. Oh, that was so cool. The way it's helicopter. Little whirly bird. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I don't do this event that often. So when I get to come up and watch all the best of the best, it's truly a pleasure. Just like the sweetest faces in the game. Is that right? A lot of people that have really, you know, they're really talented. I'm glad to hear that because I. Nice to see such a great event. I started coming here in 2022, and uh, it it seems like a growing scene, a growing scene, and to hear from you means. That's good, that's good. It's going to be tough. You know, you always had teams in the past that were going to beat up the game. They were there more for fun than anything. Uh, I think the teams have gotten more talented. It's a, it's a bigger field. And it's not easy. You can lose a match at any time. All right, Joe Smith had five on the fill and ends up with a nine for 43 through four. And a nine for 43 for Brandon Robard, the substitute for Outlaw Rides. Now, Carol and Vaughn both work in high spares. Zoc is actually working on two things like that spares. 183-185 is the score on our board and has been confirmed. I don't have a real number on them, but it's like a 10 to 15 percent of them. That's a 20 box. That was awesome. What a great ball. He's got arms like Justin Waters, I've, I've noticed. He's really long arms, but, and, and he doesn't release the ball and well out of his way down the street. All of his energy is well used. Except when he's throwing two fills. We'll give him eight there. I think I have him at 56 through three complete. Chris Merrill, who had, a, who had a six fill, was at 33 after three. And takes a, you said Merrill had a nine, right? Here you go, Andrew. He's at 42. Calvin as well. All right, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> And that is confirmed. 23 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. Canadian team one string one by 56. Benway took string two by 29. You see the totals up top. 50 pin total lead for Outlaw Rides. They have 23 in the string. Babineau should have had a fourth belt. That's a crazy backdoor action. Comes up drop to seven on that spare. He has a spare lead. On it. Makes it. 34 in a ball. Oh, yeah. Hey! Hey! Yeah, you get a 129 and a 126. 
That's a strike on spare. That's three in a row. And the lead will grow even with the strike. From uh, great shot by Rome. Holy The lead is 40 in the strike. 67 total. As they switch sides again, two marks. On. A spare and a strike on each side. 257 to 217 outlaw rides looking looking to uh, separate themselves here. If they if they win the string and the, they'll take take the total. Both uh, oh, oh, yeah. teams came in 22 and 2. Nearly perfect. The one perfect oh. team was the match. <laughs> have we heard it? Have we had enough? I haven't heard anything. Oh. Have we heard um, Kevin, can you see if there's an update from the mass shells? They were 24 and 0. Um, that would be really interesting to know how, how the mass shells did. Kevin Burns. All right, we, we are now back. All right, taking aim at the diamond. Driven into a side stab straight. This is the first match on Wednesday. We have three matches today. This match is at 9, 12, and 3. After uh, yesterday's uh, round robin, Mega Massel for 24 and all. Perfect day. They won the first boot at Massel, and they're leading the total by a lot. 111 over 101. Hey, the Mass Shells, uh, Kevin tells us. Uh, they won the first two strings and they're leading by over a hundred. Another eight points. All right, what do we got here? This, these are those were fills um, in the fifth. No, no, this is the sixth box for the top goal. Sorry, we do not. They were, they were both uh, open. In the oh, wow! Wow! Is there any trick to get it to snap like that? You just have to hit it and hope you can get the right double hit or something. That ends up being a 973 for So they, they did drop two, and they're going to be, if, if Mass Shells uh, continue to roll, they're going to be four down, but probably in second place after the fourth right. string here. So now both of these, both uh, second bowlers were on a mark. That was a nine fill for Hopper and a spare. So 55-65 and a ball. 
I'm at 79, is that match? Yes. He's, he's a new addition to the team this year. Um, said he made, made it by uh, just dumb luck and it's friendship. And he's on a great team. Spare bit. I have them both at fifty three. Get the half. Yep, we are matching. That is official. Gain of one, but they're going to need to start picking up more. They're trailing by 48 pins. Uh, Fenway Academy from the U.S. in blue on the scoreboard. So five teams will make it to the playoffs on each division. So the winner will get a bye to the semifinals. All right, so that. So that puts Ive Smith at 69 in the ball. Six. And that was a seven. Is that a seven for Lamar? And then that should put him at a 65. Okay, we're keeping up. This is all practice for those playoffs, buddy. That's a 45 pin difference. You see that up at the top of your screen in red. Plus 45 for the outlaw rides. Team in red. That's a 1 3 
Back on the head pin. Pin fell again for uh, on lane six. Wait for Bones to refill and reset. Shells are holding on to a 29 pin lead in Street 3 over there to the right. Um, undefeated. Trying to come after my record. Uh, uh, what is the record, team? 86 and 2. 86. We only lost one string. What year was that? Well, that was 1995. Long time Check our scores. 370 to 333 is what I've got, Steve. 37 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. That was 47, not flash ago. But it's 3 to 1, like you said on Mars. So figure that's going to cut back into the low 20s. Five minutes right Puts him up to 77 for six complete. Gold with spread, spread eagle, lane six. 
takes two on the second ball. And that's a spare, just like that. It's amazing, it's nice to know it's 223. It must have been a lot of fun to throw that game. It's a money box, a money box. So important to set yourself up for the last two. It's a big, big intro. Cole really wants to make it. And the post. Just a little wood to help. Perfect. Good shot by Adam Valentine. Big shot. One of the twos for the eights. Mike takes a point. And he's at 90. And the lead grows back into the 50s now. It was 37 before that, that pair, and now it is 54 and a point. And the uh, spares are still leaning toward Fenway, but uh, 3 to 1 now. Jolly and bonus gets the head pin and punches through for five. Yeah, Jalbert's is not as deep, but Substitute. 
New addition to the Alpha Red Team. Seven. Okay. What's the difference at 35? And the Phil can, can do what you said, get it down to 30. Mm. Coming in. He's in there. Ooh. That's two nine drops in a row for Smith. Big time. Big time. Big time. On Phil. Big time. 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 Omar splits two and one. No! It's an eight drop and a nine drop. And they missed there. Six for Smith, 81 for Brandon Lamar. They're both through 83. And the lead is down to 26. Marks are even in the white beach. I like the place of it, but it didn't. It, oh. Senior, it's a pleasure. Uh, we are recording. This is going to be a fine quality broadcast. Um, shortly. We cannot get the, the Wi-Fi to work here. It would be live. But it's okay. The picture quality should be better. Ooh, it did happen. It stayed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, kind of throw straight through, yeah. Ten, Remember, it was it was it had gotten up to the fit in the 50s a short while ago. Now it's you, you mentioned 30. You said if they get it down to 30, below 30 with a string to go, that's reasonable. Yeah. In this house, absolutely. Okay, flat wants that to flatten out, but not that way. I don't like the way the left side of that pin doesn't doesn't connect with the. Uh, that that drops the lead under under twenty, but Melanson has a has a fill coming. That's right. Be nice if Brian could get one right here. He just okay. Two more that was a nine. For Brian, he's at 85. And a seven. Uh, 440. 463. Alright, I missed a pin, a pin or two. We're going to have to check those. Probably in the last two bowlers. Yeah, Calvin Locke is at 104. That's where it is. Oh, that's a good 
Joe Smith is at 107. That's the other correction. Now we are equal. We are official. Well, I was even trying to move the thing. What a great punch. Yeah, great punch. Thank God. Oh, fuck. What? Right now, it is a 27 pin lead for Outlaw Rides. Plus two fair. This is live streaming or recorded? Recorded. Yeah, we're in there, buddy. We're in there. Good. Oh no, one eight, what nine? That's right. So that ended up being a four fill. He's at 122. <laughs> <laughs> That is a 322 for Fry and a 359 Fenway Academy is. Hopper takes a couple steps. There, nice nine drop there. He takes a couple steps before he starts his motion. Don't see that much very much. I have Robbie at one twenty. He joined us. 
Six and a ball. He's looking at the, at the 11th rack, correct? Oh no, that's a two. That's seven a two. more pins. The eight more pins he just picked up. So, he just picked up 17 and, and counting. Thank 
another 10 picks off the toe, and they're going to have to be able to have their team. Wow. They're all looking for a big bill. Gonna get seven to Nice game. Nice finish. Hey, hey, let's Is go, that baby. a one a one sixteen? Correct. So wow. ten pins. Americans are up ten pins minus the fill. Let's check it. I'm checking our scores. Both sides. Oh, 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 107. So puts him at 100. And Bet Bet Academy, the Americans are up by three in this third game. The heroics, Joe Smith. Yes, Joe Smith. That's a big miss. Okay. He needs to pick pins. It's only three pins. He's got that. We're all going to think right. Tail that's going to win it right there. That's it. Oh, that's going to win it. It's a four plus one. Wow, Fenway wow. Academy. It came back. It came back. Ends up being. Oh, 40, 50 back. Not too long ago. Ends up being an eight. What a crime. Babino and nine. Four, so, four. 109 in the end for Paul. Yep, just so I can explain to you. The scoreboard did not register some of Joe Smith's scores early, so we had, we had a whole thing where you were keeping up with the comebacks. And the scoreboard was showing, wasn't showing all the comebacks, but. Very nice. Going. What a what a, what a call. great man, Steve, Steve, your call was awesome. Hey, hey, you are so sharp, and, and the, the knowledge is oozing out of you. So, <laughs> Thank what, you so, so we'll give the total total points to Outlaw Rides and the four four also to Fenway uh, Academy for winning two of the three strings. I got my most of both teams. Absolutely, absolutely. What a comeback! That was in the last. No. So keep, keep track of that. You know, here, here, here. Yeah. 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 They didn't have any marks in that with box. You know, for work on they, they did it all in the ninth and tenth. And Smith and Merrill really led the way with the clutch goal. Oh God! And the, so the leading scorer there was Joe Smith in the third. Um, remember, he moved positions. And in the third position, he had three forty. But remember, I, I think he, he started off in the uh, in the second at one twelve. After fourteen, I think Smith ended up with a three. Chris Merrill ended up. Uh, 
It's Merrill is Merrill. Merrill is Merrill. I'm telling you, he's called great one to watch. That, that one shot he made in the ten, that's the one that won a point. He made a, he made a touch. He had scores of the great one too. He had scores of 101, 140, and 109. Well, that's good. American 160. 56, 57. So, anyway, great match. Great, great job, Bob. Yeah, the Bowling Network. Uh, that was Stevie Reno Sr. Oh, All the guys. Hope you guys uh, all enjoyed this as much as us. A lot of fun. Next time I see you, I'll see you on the lane. Goodbye. Thanks, thanks again, General.